My name is David Singer. I'm originally, I was born in Brooklyn, New York, and I just moved to Las Vegas a few weeks ago. I'm a professional poker player. Because I spend so much time in the casino, I like to do anything outdoors, particularly bird watching. And the reason I like bird watching is because it's very relaxing and laid back, and in order to do it, usually you're in a very nice area away from the hustle and bustle. And uh, also, it seems to me like birds are the most accessible wild animals to see. And believe it or not, in most parts of the country, if you're not a bird watcher, you don't really know this, but you can go and see some pretty amazing birds, particularly in the spring during migration. You can see all kinds of really colorful birds. Most of them migrate from South America to the Arctic. So even if you're near a city, you can usually go and see some very interesting animals or birds that come from far away. So I like that aspect of it. Um, I've had a few mentors in poker. When I first started playing, actually, uh, I just played stud and I made a friend who was a little farther along in learning than me. And uh, he told me a few books to read on stud and we sort of shared uh, our knowledge and discussed hands. His name was Mike Carroll, but he's not the uh, poker writer. But he was the first guy to help me in poker. And then uh, I played in uh, Foxwoods in Atlantic City, and I got to be friends with Phil Ivey. And uh, he helped me originally when I played No Limit. I would talk about hands with him, and him being such a great player, even though he doesn't really like to talk about hands that much, even just getting a few ideas with him, from him was worth a lot. Uh, besides that, mostly I've, I've learned on my own, but I'm not one of these players that's a natural, I don't feel I'm a natural at poker. I've, uh, as I've learned, I've, I've read books about it and tried to take, the, take what I learned from the books and apply it in my own way, but uh, there are some players that never read a book on poker and are still great players, but I, I'm not like that. Before I played poker, I actually worked as an environmental lawyer. I went to law school just to work on environmental issues. So when I got out of school, I went to work at a nonprofit environmental organization working on uh, local water issues, cleanup, actually in New York and Connecticut to clean up the Long Island Sound. And I got a lot of satisfaction out of the job, but I sort of got disillusioned with um, how the place I was working at was run, and uh, I wasn't happy with what I was getting paid. So I started playing poker in an underground club in New York. I remember when I first started playing, uh, I was just moving up in limits and uh, I was playing like 75, 150, 100, 200, 150, 300 and I'd want to play either all stud, mostly all stud and the people would say, a lot of the higher limit players would say, oh I don't want to play all stud, it's boring. And all that made me think of was they have too much money, that they're worried about whether they're going to have fun playing or not like that. I always enjoy playing because of the... Uh, aspect of it that you're trying to outthink your opponents and the challenge of it, but I don't look at it as entertainment. I just want to take the money or win the tournament, that's all. Well, since poker's changed the last few years and tournaments have become so much bigger, I play in more and more tournaments. But uh, originally, the first five years I played poker, I played just a few tournaments. I made all my living in cash games. Now it's sort of a mix. When I have time, I play cash games. Uh, the last few months I played a few nights at the Bellagio. Uh, play. My preferred game is stud, but usually in the last year or two there aren't that many higher limit games that are just straight stud, so I play mixed games. I've been playing horse and horse with triple draw, horse with uh, padugi, and uh, I feel like I've gotten much better at those games. Like uh, in most situations I feel good sitting in the games, and the limits I play are usually like, uh, like they play like 400, 800, up to 800, 1600. My biggest poker accomplishments to date, well, recently I won the uh, Heads Up Tournament at the Mirage. It was a decent sized buy-in, $7,500, and a lot of the best players played in the tournament. And uh, I was really happy to win that because I feel at least you can't get lucky and win several Heads Up uh, matches in a row. It was best two out of three. So I was proud of that. I think I got some recognition for that. Um, this year I've made two World Poker Tour final tables this past season and uh, in the past I made the main event, uh, the World Series of Poker main event final table, finishing ninth. That was a big accomplishment. I haven't cashed yet in a World Series tournament. I've played about eight events so far. Uh, but I'm having a strange year where it seems like I hardly cash, I hardly make a small cash in any tournament. It seems like when I do well in a tournament, I make the final table. So. Uh, Hopefully that'll hold true and I'll make a few final tables and maybe take down a bracelet or two. I'm still, there's still uh, 
the bigger tournaments are coming up, there's still a lot of tournaments, and um, I'm planning on having a good World Series by, by the time it's all over.